Hey guys, it's Matt with bleepinjeep.com and today I'm going to show you how to install this track bar on your lifted Jeep. But first, please subscribe. Just click my head right here to subscribe. Go ahead, click right there. Okay, thank you. Alright, so I've had this for a long time since I installed the Bastard Pack uh, on my Jeep Cherokee here. Um, I've been meaning to install it, but just haven't got around to it yet. Now, the reason you want to install a longer or an adjustable track bar is because, like I said in the last video, when you lift your Jeep up, um, basically what that does is straightens up the track bar like this, and what will happen is your axle will shift over towards the driver's side. And uh, I'll show you here in just a second uh, how much that's shifted over. So uh, what you do is you get one of these uh, longer track bars or an adjustable track bar. This one's adjustable and you just adjust it out. You unscrew this as long as you need it and then tighten it down with this uh, big nut here, this jam nut. And then uh, that'll get everything back in line for you. So it's pretty simple and uh, I'll just show you how to do it real quick. Alright, so you can get out your measuring tape and start measuring if you want, but uh, first you might just want to eyeball it. So, an easy way to do that, uh, you can probably see it just by eyeballing it, but an easy way to do that is just line up your uh, door handles here until they make a perfect sight there. And notice right here how, many, uh, how much tread we have sticking out. Now let's go over and do that on the other side. And when you come over here, you can actually see that there's no tread sticking out. So, uh, you know we need to make some adjustments there. So now I'll get my measuring tape out and we'll measure. I'm going to measure off a, a known distance on the inside here. Uh, something that's the same on both sides. In this case, it'll be my um, coil spacer here. And if I measure to the edge of the tread on the driver's side, I'm getting about 13 and a half inches. And on the passenger side, I'm getting about 12 inches. So uh, if we split the difference, that should be three quarter inches that I need to make the track bar longer um, so that both tires have an even amount and the axle is uh, centered. So this is the track bar that we need to change right here. This end just has a, like a tie rod end on it and the other end over here has uh, just a nut and a bolt. Now some of the heavy duty track bars come with a bracket that replaces this bracket here. Um, those are for uh, heavier duty applications or maybe a longer lift and the bracket actually comes down and a lot of them have a johnny joint on this end instead of the, the tie rod type end. Um, but in this case I just have the, uh, the regular one and so the first thing we'll do is take off this end right here. Alright so the track bar has a uh, has a castle nut up on the top here and a cotter pin. It's kind of hard to get to, but I usually like to use uh, wire cutters to pull that cotter pin out. And I think I should be able to do it, even though it's a pain in the butt up here. There it is. Now I'll just take a three quarter inch uh, socket and put it on top of that nut. Alright, the way I like to take these ends off is just with a pickle fork. Um, since we're not using this again, I don't have to worry about ruining the end. And you can also play music on it. So pretty. Now on the other end, all I have to do is take the bolt out with the 15 millimeter socket. There it is, and make sure to keep that little tab nut uh, for when you reinstall it. Okay, so here's the old track bar and the new track bar. What I want to do now is to measure from this distance in the center to the center of this hole. And when I do, I get about 31 and a quarter inches. So I need to add my 3 quarter inches that I measured earlier onto this one and I should get about 32 inches. So I need to lengthen this 
track bar about half inch. To do that, I'll just uh, unscrew this a little bit until I get the measurement that I want. Now make sure that you leave enough threads in here. You need about an inch of threads in there. And it needs to go a little bit farther. I'm going to make sure that I have enough threads here. All right, I've taken this thing completely out. There is plenty of threads there, but I just want to show you. You want at least an inch of threads to be inside the uh, track bar. So I'm just going to make a little line and uh, just make sure that you have that many threads inside this track bar or else you're not going to get enough bite. All right, so I've measured that out to exactly 32 inches. Now I'll just take this and hand tighten this nut. Don't want to tighten that up yet. This is just going to be an approximate length. And now we need to uh, center the axle. Now centering the axle is not too complicated. What you want to do is give the body a shove in the direction that you need to go. And it should kind of center itself up. If it's been that way for a long time and it's a little stubborn, then we'll just use a ratchet strap whenever we go to put the track bar on. Alright, so to put everything back together, I'll start by fishing this through and then putting the axle in, in, in first. Uh, while you have this off though, you might want to check to make sure that your brackets aren't wobbled out. A lot of times that will cause a death wobble uh, when these holes are oblong oval shaped. I'll just hand tighten that now until I get the other end bolted in place. Alright, so on this end, the body still needs to move over a little bit more for everything to line up. So for that, you can either enlist some help, you can use a ratchet strap, or if you have your sway bar disconnected, you can jack up the passenger side until it fits right in. But by far the easiest way, and only if you're very careful, is just to have somebody turn the steering wheel which will line everything up just momentarily while you can get that thing in there. Once you finally get it on there, torque it down to 35 foot-pounds and then install the cotter pin. Add a bit of Loctite to the jam nut and tighten it to 55 foot-pounds. And finally come back to this last one and tighten it down to 45 foot-pounds. And there you have it, a brand new track bar. And make sure to put some grease in there before you finish up. Oh, and one more thing. You probably screwed up your steering wheel doing this, uh, like it's upside down. But don't worry, just watch my video on how to straighten your steering wheel, and we'll get you fixed right up. Alright, now let's check and see how we did. This is the driver's side. Looks good. The tire has moved quite a bit to the inside. And here's the passenger side. Well, crap. Looks like I went a little bit too much the wrong direction, but uh, I think you get the idea. Alright guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our website, check out our Facebook page, and subscribe below. If you have any comments, you can leave those below as well. I appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.